The meta of Smash Ultimate has started to become much more fleshed out over the past few months, and it's pretty clear that, at least in the current patch, there are no perfect characters. While some characters like Joker and Peach will always be pretty strong picks, every single character has weaknesses and difficult matchups. This is why most people choose to pick up a secondary, to cover matchups that your current main struggles with. Frankly, I think that if you have enough time and motivation to master more than one character, having a secondary to switch to is a clear advantage. Picking up a secondary is almost like a way to buff your current main because it gives you a better matchup spread overall as a player, and basically makes lower tier characters more viable by giving you the option of only playing them in an even or advantageous matchup. For instance, maybe you currently main Donkey Kong or Ike and have trouble getting in on certain stages against projectile characters. A good idea might be to pick up a second character like Fox that can deal with those situations better. Just as an example, of course. Now before we get any further, I want to clear up a major misconception. If you're doing it right, having a secondary is not a sign of weakness, nor is it a sign that you don't believe in your main. It's quite simply the most optimal way to play, and if anything, it shows your skills of being able to learn more than one character. However, it does take almost twice as much time to learn two characters, so in order to be truly good with more than one character, you need to put in a lot of work. If you're not looking to put in a lot of work, or you're only looking to pick up a secondary for one specific matchup, you should probably just stick with one main until you feel like your play with that character can't be pushed much further. Because it takes so long to become truly adept with even a single character, you should probably limit yourself to three characters at an absolute maximum. Also, don't think of picking up a secondary as picking up a pocket character unless it's just for fun, but instead think about it like picking up a second main. You need to love that character almost as much as you love your current main. Otherwise, it simply won't be fun to play and you'll waste your time. A few months ago, I made this mistake and started picking up Richter specifically to cover Samus' weaknesses to Olimar. Then Olimar was nerfed and I got better with Samus, so the matchup is fine for me now, and frankly I almost never play against any Olimars, so basically all of that time I spent learning Richter is more or less wasted. This is in no way saying that the Belmonts aren't good characters, it's just that I'm simply more comfortable with other characters and enjoy playing them more. Now, there are two trains of thoughts when picking a secondary. One is that you should pick a character similar to your current main, but covers one or two of your bad matchups so that the transition between them is easier and the other is to pick an extremely different character that covers your first main's weaknesses, basically diversifying your playstyle and options. While both of these ideas are good, I tend to subscribe more to the second one as it is more strategically beneficial. But this leads me to my most important point about picking a secondary. Play to your strengths, but have more than one strength. Basically, if you play a defensive projectile character, don't force yourself to play something you're uncomfortable with, like a complete rushdown character, if you aren't also fairly comfortable with that playstyle. For instance, I've recently started picking up Bowser, who at first glance may not seem similar to Samus at all, but since I play a relatively read-heavy Samus, I'm comfortable with Bowser because he's pretty read-heavy as well, which plays to one of my major strengths. I also have a pocket Young Link, because my projectile game and tech like wave bouncing that I work on with Samus transfers over, and I was already very familiar with the Young Link from Melee, and even though he's a projectile character like Samus, he does cover quite a few of Samus's weaknesses in my opinion, and has a pretty different playstyle to Samus. Another example is let's say you play Lucina, and you've developed really good spacing. Rather than force yourself to play someone like Pichu, who's more about rushdown, or picking Martha Crom, who wouldn't really diversify your options that much. In this hypothetical case, maybe you should play someone like Zero Suit, who's a very different aggressive spacing character, or Wolf, who can also be played pretty spacing heavy. Anyway, these are just random examples of course, but the idea is to pick a character that plays differently than your current main and covers your main's weaknesses, but not one that's so different that you have to retrain your brain every time you switch between them. I know this was kind of a rambling video, but picking a character is a personal decision. There's no truly right way to do it. But to sum it all up, figure out your character's strengths and weaknesses. Find a character with different strengths and weaknesses that still uses your already developed skills in some way so that you're still comfortable with them and don't have to entirely change your playstyle. And also, love and believe in both of your characters. Because picking a character up just as matchup coverage won't get you very far in the long run. That's pretty much all I wanted to say, but don't worry, I have more Samus content coming this week, and I'll also be making videos on other characters soon. 
Leave a like if you like this, subscribe to see more, and let me know you'd like to see in future videos in the comments below. Peace.